Hello, 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 my lovely Scorpios. I just feel like I'm at home with you guys. I'm a Libra Scorpio cusper myself. I am a Venus in Scorpio. Um, I am a Mercury in Scorpio. Um, yeah. Venus in Scorpio and Mercury in Scorpio. So I have a lot going on. So I definitely resonate mostly with Scorpio readings, guys. So let's see what we got coming up. As I was starting to get ready for the energy of the reading, let me just cleanse the air here. Um, I was shuffling your cards and cleansing them for your reading, and I will send the Page of Pentacles, which I know an energy that has been following us forever, um, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy, slow-moving energy, might I add. Um... And I kept seeing the victory card more than once. I saw the Six of Wands. So, um, it's some type of slow-moving victory for us, I feel like, in this time frame of February 11th through February 17th. That could have felt difficult to obtain or was burdensome. My eye has been itching. Oh, my goodness, God. I'm so sorry. Um, that might have been hard to get to, but the victory is coming. It's just really slow. And then um, I had seen be optimistic about your love life. So this is something that could be stable and promising, but it's moving really slow for you, Scorpio. So that's what I was channeled during the shuffle for you guys. So let's just see what we have uh, so far. All right, Holy Spirit, what messages do we have for Scorpio for the week of February 11th through February the 17th? Holy Spirit, what messages do we have for Scorpio for the week of February 11th through February the 17th? Holy Spirit, Angels, what messages do we have for February 11th through February the 17th? Holy Spirit, what messages do we have for Scorpio for February 11th through February the 17th? Okay, I feel like it's telling me to stop. Okay, these are together. These energies are not surprising. It's like the same stuff for us. Is it not, Scorpio? <laughs> not in a negative way, you know. <clears throat> Me being a Venus and Scorpio, really my love life has seen a lot of shambles, okay? Like, if it was a word for Scorpio's love life, it would be shambles. <laughs> at times it's awesome, and at other times it is a wreck, is it not? Um, but... Us Scorpios wouldn't have it any other way, would we? Okay, so I feel like this is past energy. Okay, Scorpio, this could have been last week. Like I said, energy is fluid. It could be next week, this week, last week. Whatever it resonates for you. This is a general reading. Thousands of people look at these readings, so it's when it resonates for you. But us as Scorpio, we know that we know when something hits. We know. We don't need all that. We deep down be knowing anyway. But I digress. So I feel like this is past energy, so it could have been last week, in the past of some sort. Uh, that could have been a disappointment. Um, you could have felt like you needed to defend yourself here with the Seven of Wands. Um, looking at, this is, you know, crying over spilled, spilled milk. You see those three cups there, but it's two cups behind them. There is love. There is some ray of sunshine, okay? Um, but yeah, it could have been disagreements, trying to get your point across, you know, really feeling like you're alone in this trying to defend fight for something something you may have been fighting for and it ended in disappointment seriously so with this week i'm feeling like this energy coming like i said it was some type of offer i felt it so we have this car so we know that this is the um four eight of wands and this could be internet messages Things coming in swiftly, messages going back and forth, someone trying to communicate with you swiftly. This is also a part of travel, depending on what's next to it. And I said travel because we have the Two of Pentacles here, which is also a travel card. So there could be someone traveling to you, or you could be traveling to someone else. Um, lots of messages. There could be messages about travel, messages saying that they are coming to see you. Like we said before, this is February 14th. Valentine's Day week, I believe it's Thursday, and you know, a lot of people are seeing people traveling messages, love you know, it's the week of love, everyone. 
Um, so yeah, you could be traveling or giving someone a message to travel or someone could be messaging you about traveling. This could be someone from your past offering a commitment, something stable, something tangible. Pentacles is something that is uh, material, like someone could be giving you a gift, someone from the past. A past lover could be coming in to give you a gift. Um, um, like the Six of Cups is also like my soulmate energy twin flame card. Someone could be coming to profess some type of commitment. But they are definitely in a loving and giving um, energy. Because like you see how this guy looks like he's giving her flowers. Someone could be giving you flowers. Some type of something materialistic and substantial will be given to you. They could be traveling to give you this. They could be giving you messages of giving this. But you are coming out of this with this person of this disappointment and defending and battling for something. You're coming out of that energy. They are wanting to give to you now and balance things out. Okay? Um, that's pretty straightforward. Like I was hearing before, some type of pentacle energy wants to give you something. I was saying that and want to have some type of vi uh, victory with you. Now let's clarify the travel. If it's not a love situation, it was something that disappointed you, that you felt like you stuck up for and you fought for. Um, you could be receiving messages of traveling for work, traveling to see someone from your past that may have some type of opportunity for you. Um, yes, but it seems like it'll be very fruitful to do this or you could have messages of someone coming to see you. Yeah, they could be bringing clarity, honesty, truth in some type of situation. Um, they could be messages of yet yeah, some type of truth. Something being clarified, like I said, Ace of Swords, wind. Someone could be traveling. You see how you see those clouds, like something going through fast, cutting the air here. Could be some type of plane travel because I see that the soil is cutting through above the mountains in the clouds. I just feel like some type of traveling could be from somewhere cold. Um, yes, and then we have someone coming to travel and trying to bring us a celebration card. So trying to bring uh, some celebratory energy to you or messages of celebratoriness. In a negative sense, it could be someone traveling to you or someone bringing in messages and clarity and truth about a third party situation but this person uh, could have been weighing this up but this person wants to talk and message you and bring in this truth and clarity and they want to bring some type of commitment to you i don't feel like they get care about what the hell is going on with the third party if that is your situation but i see this as someone bringing you some type of stability yeah it could have been somebody giving it to because I have it with the three of cups. But they definitely, um, and then we, we have those two pentacles is given. Then we have the two pentacles here. You could receive messages of someone giving to two. You could receive clarity on that. I didn't want to expound on that, but it did itself with the giving the two. Or someone could just be giving to someone less fortunate, traveling to give you something, giving you messages of them traveling to give you something. You could have been as dark about it, but... They're, um, you know, bringing the clarity to you. Um, somebody has been working on this. They have been working to travel to you and send you these messages and come and give you something to bring you this clarity. Uh, they could have had a lot of options in the past, even if this is in regard to a job or some type of loan or grant that you wanted. Um, these messages could be coming to you to receive those funds. Uh, you could, yeah, you could receive um, messages of receiving those funds. And it could have been celebratory because you could have been working towards this. Um, like I said, you could be hearing about maybe getting taxes. But someone could have had a lot of op options and were giving to two, but they're deciding to work on this with you and travel towards you. And what else is about this past relationship? Yeah, once again, the two of one. Somebody could have been uh, giving the two, but they choose you. Like I said, they're offering you something. They could have been in the dark about this, or they could have been given to a cancer, or this could be a cancer given to you. But I feel like now they want to give with you and start over with you. Um, it could be an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. I feel a uh, feminine, the um, mm -hmm. feminine, the action-oriented energy, or this could be this person, just kind of like in their feminine energy. 
but they're taking action towards you coming out of indecision and want to can do something stable stability this could also be an offer of uh, engagement ring some type of engagement that's something that's tangible somebody could have been weighing this up but with these two here i just see it as being a ring it could be a ring of someone's offering yeah but somebody's definitely giving you messages and wanting to give you something someone's coming out of indecision and they're coming towards you Scorpio. Like I said, it could have been some, you could have heard something about some third party situation, but this person is traveling to you. Could have heard about their other options and them giving it to two. Um, but now they want to come in fast and work on this with you and give you this stability. Yeah, this person could have been up in their head about this, or once you heard this, you could have been up in your head about it. Um, but I'm just hearing, like, relax. Don't let that get to you. You are out of that past energy and disappointments and having to defend yourself. Just sit back and relax and wait. That's what I'm hearing with this. Uh, Holy Spirit, what other messages do we have for Scorpio? Somebody was just up in their head about all these options and indecision, but somebody's cutting through that. They cut through that. They're working towards coming towards you and giving to you with this offer of stability. They're out of the fog now. You guys could have gotten into it last week or so recently and you guys are coming out of that yeah like I said uh, it was indecision somebody didn't know what they wanted to do what other messages do we have yeah and you could have walked away like I said you guys could have gotten into it you guys could have walked away from that um the, the temperance card came out could be a Sagittarius um but they want to bring in balance see it's like Okay, I know what I want to do. I'm going to pour and give and balance this out. Someone's coming in with something stable. Yeah. So somebody went within. Like, you could have went within. You didn't slip out about this. But um, you could be going within. This is also the card of Virgo. Going within. Um, kind of like the loner mentality this week. But you're kind of low-key waiting for this to come in. Because, you know, like this is Valentine's Day week. So, people are kind of expecting things in a low-key kind of way. So, you could kind of be expecting for them to give you something. But you're not letting them know that you're expecting this. Because you know they have options. And you don't want to get worked up about this. But those messages, and they will be traveling to you. And you will be receiving messages soon. You went to a cup. Flipped over. This person wants to offer you love and some type of partnership. So we're pretty much saying the same thing here. Or someone's offering some type of business partnership. That principal could be anything. But someone's traveling to you. But you're walking away from disappointment and having to defend yourself. You doing this, someone has finally made their decision of about these choices that they had or third party situations. And if it's not third party, they just want to come in and celebrate with you. Somebody could be traveling to you and you could have received messages of that. So we have hello from heaven. Your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. So someone could be uh, missing someone from the past. So they're saying hello here. Or it could also mean that, the, you know, the guys and God and the angels are looking over you. You're good. Crystal clear intentions. Be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith. So, like I said, this is you were disappointed about this in the past, feel like you needed to defend yourself in this, but I just feel like you're going to receive messages, clarity, someone traveling to you this week, um, someone has went within, made decisions and choices, and it feels like they're coming in with a big offer for you, something substantial. Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpio for the week of February 11th and February 17th? Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpio for February 11th to February 17th? Okay. So we have expressed your love. Like I said, you felt disappointed, whatever. You weren't really feeling it. So this person wants to come back in. I feel like you're fine with what you're doing. This person wants to come in. They feel like they want to express love to you. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So they definitely might be making a romantic gesture. Or energies can be reversed. You take it how it resonates. Um, this person is wanting to bring in passion. Like I said, they want to bring in something stable. They want to express their love. They want to bring in passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. This person wants to come in hot and heavy. 
unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Now, I feel like this is your energy. You were d disappointed. You would feel like you were battling with this. You are in the energy of, you're not really feeling this. Um, but this person, like I said, they could have been given into two third-party situations, not sure about what they're doing, being stuck. But this person now is making an energy towards you. Uh, like I said, it could be an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. I'm picking up someone from the past, also a twin flame, soulmate energy. Um, someone could be making vast commitments, could be marriage. Um, but know what you want. I know it was disappointments, but like I said at the beginning of the reading, I seen that... Um, when I said page of principles or knight of principles, that is a slow moving energy. And I saw the six of wands and the victory energy for you. you this is going to be slow. You're going to win. But it's like you need to have patience. Uh, temperance can also be the card of patience. So in this situation, you might need to pull on your spiritual reserves and have patience. Look within. This is coming. Even though deep down inside you know you're kind of waiting for this. But it's coming. This person just has to get out of this um these options and illusions and trickery and foolery and they got to get out of that energy but they're coming in with some type of substantial offer this week messages they are on your heels scorpio and they are moving fast okay i might just name it that coming towards you and coming fast okay all right scorpio so i'm going to try to produce a february 14th valentine's day reading for each sign um, I am going to be coming out with mid months. In the comment, my eyes are itching so bad, guys. In the comments, um, I want you guys to know, let me know what type of readings that you might like on the channel. Um, what you would like to see. Just your feedback. If it resonates, let me know. If it doesn't all resonate, take what does and leave the rest. I love you, Scorpio, and I will see you soon.